I'm going to go through how you guys can play Modern Warfare 2 one week early with this new free pre-order bonus. We'll go through all the details in today's video, plus some new gameplay, a road to launch roadmap with all of the upcoming events for Modern Warfare 2, and a bunch more. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight into this here. Call of Duty tweeted this out. Campaign early access, digitally pre-order Modern Warfare 2 and play the MW2 campaign up to a week early beginning October 20th. Again, the full game releases October 28th. So that whole week prior to MW2's launch, you'll get to play that campaign early, completely finish it early. And then for the launch, you'll be able to just focus on multiplayer and spec ops or DMZ content, all the new stuff there. Super exciting here. I think this is definitely a great decision on their part to allow people to play this campaign and completely finish it before the launch of the game for me and i think for a lot of players as well when a new call of duty releases we're mostly focusing on grinding the multiplayer grinding our levels or if it's a trailer cod playing the new zombies map going for the easter egg all the good stuff and we don't get around to playing the campaign until a few weeks or a couple of months later which really does suck or maybe not at all you just completely skip over that campaign uh, i know for some people when the cod first comes out the first thing they do is play campaign they want to get that out of the way they want to get that done and i respect that but i've just never done that but now having the campaign be the only thing i could play is so so sick i would preferably love to play the campaign first and having this first week access of just campaign is so sick to me and then for the game's launch i could fully focus on the mp and dmz so so exciting there we'll go through some more details on that later on in this video but now for a pretty big thing here a road to launch map here this is sick it gives us a overview of what we're getting here for the next couple of weeks for mw2 marketing reveals the beta etc so first big thing up here is call of duty next september 15th that thursday that's going to be a huge event where we have a full multiplayer reveal, new gameplay, the maps, the weapons, how the gunsmith works, new features, modes, etc. Everything you would normally expect to see in a new MP reveal event. But we also have some stuff on Warzone 2. I'm not so sure if it's a full Warzone 2 reveal, but we'll definitely get maybe some teasers and gameplay and more info on that. That's going to be so, so exciting. We have Warzone mobile reveals as well. And probably some stuff, maybe not too much, but probably some stuff on that third Spec Ops mode. Is it just DMZ? Is DMZ a portion of Spec Ops? Will we also have normal Spec Ops missions? Will the survival mode be returning into Spec Ops this year? That would be so exciting to see. So a bunch of stuff being revealed that Thursday. Call of Duty next event, September 15th. We'll be streaming on the channel. I'll be reacting to it live. So exciting there. And some more stuff here. We have the first beta weekend from September 16th to the 20th. That's the PlayStation exclusive weekend. We have beta weekend two, which is the cross play beta weekend. Xbox, PC, and PlayStation can all play that entire weekend, September 22nd through the 26th. And then we have the digital exclusive. Again, I wanna make sure you guys understand, you have to pre-order MW2 digitally to get access to this campaign early access period. That starts on October 20th. Then finally, MW2 fully launches on Friday, October 28th. So exciting stuff there. Now let's break down some more specific and individual details on what we're getting here for all of this upcoming content for Modern Warfare 2. First up here, I'll leave a link down below to the blog post here, a bunch of very important content. First up here, some stuff on the campaign early access event. I want to read this little description here and talk about what we saw in that little gameplay snippet because it's very interesting. This campaign features missions in Europe, Asia, and the Americas, and is set to be an incredible experience on numerous levels, offshore sieges with underwater combat, all-out explosive assaults from 30,000 feet above enemy strongholds and high stakes low profile stealth missions in both plain sight and under the cover of darkness and they go through some more information there and in the actual gameplay snippet you see a bunch of stuff you see some new shots of different campaign missions the one in this city not so sure where it is looks amazing looks so so cool almost gives me some free fall vibes from cod ghosts if you guys remember that, uh, that would be sick to see another free fall type of map in MW2 this year. Uh, but we also have another shot here of the all new version of the all gillied up mission. It's going to be a reimagined version of that OG mission. That is really sick as well. 
and a lot of people are saying and trying to figure out what that sniper is uh people are saying intervention i saw ax50 i saw msr i'm not so sure i'm pretty sure people are saying it's not the intervention it's a bit too small there but let me know down below i'm not the biggest gun nerd there so i really don't know how to identify guns from trailers so let me know down below what sniper you think that could be although it was rumored and leaked that the intervention would be in this game so uh, that's not a confirmation and maybe it's still going to be an mw2 they're just not going to reveal it yet in this trailer so uh, again even if it's not the intervention still not you know out of the picture here we could still see it but let me know down below what do you think the sniper could be here and any other weapons you guys find in this little gameplay snippet for the campaign access trailer but for some very important stuff here we have all the modern warfare 2 pre-order benefits i might make this into a separate video because it is super important and people need to understand what they're getting exactly what they're getting when they pre-order the different versions of modern warfare 2 here are the main differences here i know there are some slight differences from steam to battle.net but here is the main stuff here between the base game and just the vault edition so we have the first one here if you pre-order mw2 you get a week early access of full mw2 campaign content digital only okay again if you get the physical version of this game you're not getting that campaign early access very important stuff there we of course have access to the full game on october 28th open beta early access the final judgment bundle immediate access to the legendary death nail operator skin and the legendary bloodthirsty weapon blueprint for use in vanguard and warzone and then for the vault edition you have all of the previous rewards again digital only for the campaign early access it doesn't matter where you pre-order it has to be digitally to get that campaign early access but you could pre-order any version of mw2 to get that campaign stuff so that's good there and of course you get the red team 141 stuff the fjx cinder weapon vault really cool stuff there which they'll be revealing how that works at the call of duty next event that is so so exciting it'll also be available to use in the open beta so that's really cool there we have the season one battle pass and 50 tier skips a pretty good boost there for the start of the season from w2 and then finally the ghost legacy pack 20 plus free items celebrating the task force 141 icon from Modern warfare 2 Modern warfare 2019 i should say and warzone unlocked upon pre-purchase so cool stuff there again i'll make a separate video going through exactly what everything is for all the different you know consoles and platforms and what you'll get because there is a lot of stuff this time and i want to make sure everyone understands exactly what they're getting and what they're getting into what they're not getting if they pre-order certain versions of the game so we'll do that in a separate video very soon now for some stuff on the mw2 mp beta this is super interesting we have some exact times here as well the first beta weekend is again starting on friday september 16th at 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern until tuesday september 20th at 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern now sometimes this is extended by a little bit and uh it starts a bit earlier i feel like this time around it seems to be pretty set in stone i think last year it was fairly set in stone as well maybe in the past they would drop the beta 12 hours early the surprise or a day early which was always su super exciting but i think this time around they're gonna keep this you know how it is right here but you know we'll see what happens again the second weekend of the beta is thursday september 22nd at the same time 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern until monday september 26th at 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern great great stuff there we'll go down here and we have finally some stuff on the call of duty next event expect a massive intel drop regarding the immediate future of call of duty during the call of duty next franchise showcase event expect many more details regarding modern warfare 2 information on the next call of duty warzone and more on the mobile version of call of duty warzone also known as project Wara. this multi-hour event also features a full modern warfare 2 multiplayer reveal a multitude of your favorite streamers at the event playing the games in real time and redacted information and surprises pretty cool stuff there so we will get some surprise announcements and reveals i feel like that's mostly going to be regarding the you know dmz mode which has been fairly secretive and we don't know for sure what it's going to be like i mean we know it might be an escape from a tarkov type of mode but we just don't know for sure so i feel like that will be most of the redacted stuff there but maybe we'll get some other you know surprise reveals that we really just didn't expect and we'll get caught off guard like crazy so again i'm excited to see what we get there again we'll be streaming that entire event all day i unfortunately won't be there but i'll still be you know super excited streaming from home and reacting to everything live talking to you guys on the stream so can't wait for that but overall that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy be sure to subscribe for more mw2 and warzone 2 news updates videos like this let me know down below what other videos you want me to make leading up to the launch of mw2 we'll be covering obviously all of the news 
and reveals and anything that comes out for this game. But if you want me to make any other type of, you know, video, any other styles leading up to this game, maybe going back and playing all of the Modern Warfares and getting just the hype increased and ready for this game, let me know down below. We could do different style videos like that just for fun, just to get the hype going there. So let me know down below. And that's it for this video. There are two other videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Real do appreciate, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.